What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Mattel Mahjong Studios Minecraft Diamond Level figures of the Kitty Cat and the Skeleton. Now, I'm kind of surprised they went with the cat first and not the Ocelot. But I do hope we get a repaint of the Ocelot and maybe the other versions of the cat. But... This cat is probably the best one they could have made for me personally, and I will show why in a little bit. But yeah, there's the barcodes if you're looking for them. I found, oh, well this one's got a barcode sticker over it, but uh, I got mine at uh, on Amazon for 25 bucks a piece. So with that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and open these blocky figures up. So getting these Minecraft figures out of the packaging, I'm very happy because... I like Minecraft quite a bit, and I'm happy to get new figures from this line on the, on the shelf, because this line is relatively easy to collect, but I feel like I'm, I, it's hard to find these figures a lot of times, you don't even know that they're coming out, and then if they turn around, they're just there, like every once in a while, every couple months, I just look up diamond level, and I see new figures, I, I, I didn't, the cat I haven't seen anywhere except on Amazon, so, um, we'll go ahead and start with the skeleton, because I like the cat more, but a uh, skeleton looks great. Um, unfortunately, he suffers what the Enderman had in that you're really, really not going to be able to get him to stand without his base, which I don't like that, but you can, but it, my desk is not even neither, so maybe if I had a more even desk, it'd be easier. But I don't like that. I'm not a big figure stand person unless it's really, really necessary. And the Enderman can get away with it because 9 out of 10 times you see them, they're doing that. So it's like, whatever. But his base is like a very specific instance that you would need it. And that bothers me, so whatever. But taking a look at the head sculpt here, looks like what it needs to be. It's the same sculpt we've seen, but with different paint apps. And I love the way they do it. But we do get a new torso for this guy. And new arms because they're skinnier. Um, you get that same block piece to hold things, but yeah, I think it looks great. I love like these like slightly silverish parts. I don't know why we don't get any back there, but I, I always like the design of the Minecraft skeleton. I think he looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. He's got the peg holes. I like it a lot. Thinner, but that's okay. Now in terms of accessories for this guy, you're going to get the essentials. The essentials for him. You're going to get, oops, spoilers, going to get his bow. These bitches always got a bow. But when you have the bow, you really, it's its going to hit his face or whatever, but it works. I like that, but forget about him standing with the bow. It's just not going to happen. He doesn't even, like, lean back. And maybe you could get it. I don't know. Like I said, my desk is uneven, so it looks pretty good, though. But if he's being extra dickhead-ish, you can get him with the launching bow. This one's a little tricky to get into his hand because you got to, like, angle it right. But once you do, looks good. I like that. Looks pretty awesome. Looking good. And then, I don't want to lose these. I always worry that I'm going to lose these little pieces. Um, then, he comes with the pumpkin head. And I almost makes me want a second one. This is scented, and it smells kind of bad. But also kind of smells like pumpkin. You just slip it over. Looks pretty good. I like it a lot, um, and honestly, it could just be used as a jack-o'-lantern, but ugh, it smells, yeah, it smells weird, it smells like fall, I kind of like it, kind of don't, I don't really know, I got a weird nose, but definitely the biggest accessories he comes with are, if the sunlight is out, you're hitting him with some rays, you know what's going to happen, he's going to get all burnt up, so you clip that onto the, the pelvis there, and then this one slides on the back of his head, slide that over a little bit there you go and he's in fire he's on fire i think it's awesome i don't want to display him like this and unfortunately like i said his base kind of permits him to have to be like that the paint and stuff on it is all very nice but i mean technically you kind of put it like this and th this is probably what i'm gonna do on the shelf but it is unfortunate that they don't just give you like a solid clear base for him to stand on. At least for the smaller figures, I, I would have really liked that. But taking a look at his articulation, the head's going to rotate all the way around. You do get a little bit of pivot, but his is kind of like one of those joints where it kind of like falls back. Which is a little annoying, get that up and down. You can pull out the arms, they'll rotate. 
a little bit of back and forth. I think how they do this is kind of genius, not going to lie. I like it a lot. And then, like I said, you get those taken out. Nothing in the torso, which is fine. I don't care. And then he could just kind of move his legs forward and back a little bit. So very simplistic, but it's Minecraft. It's okay. It's allowed to be simplistic. So, yeah, looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I am happy to have a skeleton on here. But the real star of the show for me is the Kibby. Look at Kibby. I like him a lot. I'm actually kind of surprised we got this before we got the Ocelot. I definitely hope we get a repaint with Ocelot. I think that would be awesome. Give me all the cat colors. I don't care. I'll take all of them. Very, very, very cute. And this means a lot to me because this looks like my cat. This looks like my son. Um, I have a little tuxedo and he's very cute. He's mean as shit, but he's very cute. Um, so I am very happy to have a, a Minecraft version of my cat. Um... My cat tends to wear a blue collar, but uh, you pop the head off and put the red collar on here. I will probably leave that on there. And then if they ever give us an ocelot, I'll have that without the collar. But you do get a collar option. Very, very cute. Like I said, I wish they had a blue version of it, just for me personally. But looks great. Not a lot of paint detail on the cat, but that's, that's okay. He also does come with a fish. Fishy. Very good. You can have other characters hold it. And he comes with a feather. Um, and other characters can hold that too. I like the way they do this a lot. And then, this is really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have the batteries for it. But you do get the oven. and Or like the furnace. And you're supposed to push this button. This is supposed to light up. It's a, It's got a try me box. Which makes me think it's supposed to come with batteries. But mine does not work. Um, I don't really care. Maybe one day I'll put batteries in there, but it is a really nice thing, and it's pretty big, so I like that a lot. But yeah, overall, very nice accessories, especially getting with this smaller figure. So looking at articulation, the head is basically just going to swivel and pivot a little bit. The legs move together, but then you can also like push one back and forward, so it does look pretty good. Um, same thing with the back. They have a little bit more range, but we'll also do the back you know, forward and thing, and then ball joint at the tail round thing in minecraft unbelievable but yeah very simple but it's a kibby it doesn't really need to do much here they are next to the Nakatoys king kong along with the jazz Bros fortnite series six inch peely here they are next to the mcfarland toys dark Knight returns batman along with the hasbro marvel legends x-men series darwin and then finally here they are next to the hasbro marvel legends what if series zombie captain america so, you might be out there wondering, yo, what are your final thoughts on these figures? And I gotta say, I'm, I'm happy with them as always. I really do like this Diamond Level Minecraft series, and I hope we get more. I mean, at the very least, Sheep and Cow would be very nice. A Villager would be awesome. I mean, sure, if we want to go as big as getting a Ghast, that would be great. You know, I would take a huge Ender Dragon. They've done it with their smaller series. They could do it here. I don't think that's going to happen. But I'd be all for it. But realistically speaking, let's get a villager, cow, sheep. And if you have to end it there, maybe add a spider in there. Yeah, maybe add a spider in there. And, you know, we got all the original mobs. I don't know. I'd be pretty happy with that. But with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So at a price point of 25 bucks a piece, I think you're getting your money's worth for the most part here. It's nothing crazy. But, I mean, they do try to make it very worth the money. Um, with light up features, scented features, you know, even if you don't like any of it, at least they're trying. That's more than you can say for most companies these days. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give them each a solid 8 out of 10. I think they're solid figures and I'm very happy to have a Minecraft version of my son. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's be sure to find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all those apps and have a great time, so I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You copy? See you guys next one. Peace. Walk as long as I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.